I decided to make a video showing the uh, replacement of a keypad on the Stack on Elite gun safe as well as all electronics that are involved with the automatic unlocking. Uh, following the lack of instructions and I was supposed to be getting some in an email, never received them so I thought that I'd make this video instead. So to start with, remove your keypad, peel the sticky piece off, it simply pries off, uh, place a new one on and uh, make sure that you can have it aligned by putting the light behind it. There's two tabs that hold the actual electronic part on that you just bend over and pull off. You can see the two there. Uh, the new one's slightly different but it goes in the exact same place. Just bend those tabs over that retain the piece in place and now your keypad's ready to go for the rest of the installment. So next up to get into the internals of the safe you have to remove these caps you can see as i go around here showing if you just follow the edge of your safe you'll see the caps themselves uh, they're simply just pressed on so simply grab onto it pull it off and they should come off if they're on a little bit tighter you can use something to pry it off such as screwdriver or something like that they're pretty easy to get off then you can take a screwdriver or your drill take all those screws off and that piece of uh, the safe will come off. Uh, you, once you have that piece off, you have full access to the internal electronics of the safe. You can see there's a couple clips here. That's the first time I'm working on. They're pretty easy to take off. A couple retaining clips, uh, prop, pop them off, and then there's the two screws there. Didn't come with new hardware, so I'm going to remove the two screws here and the little rubber isolator. You can see the two uh, electronic pieces side by side were slightly different, but they're going to go in the exact same mounting spot and will function the same with the same uh, electronics connected to it. So uh, you can see here we're going to be putting those rubber isolators and the screws back in place. Simply screw it back on. Doesn't have to be super tight, just needs to be retained. Reconnect your electronics here. And next up you feed this piece back through the door. This is a, a little bit of a tight fit so it took a little bit of time just to get the tab through. Uh, but take your time and just wash and you'll get it through no problem. It's going through the fireproofing so it, it does take a little bit of finesse to get it through. Once it's through you can see it comes in and it will connect to the back, back on that piece that we had removed. Uh, now you connect your battery, put it in place and you could replace the uh, keypad. You can see that's where the key goes if you do have a keypad issue, and you can manually open the safe with that. Uh, now it appears to be working, so we can follow the uh, instructions that we'll f have following right here, or my other video on how to program the safe. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps out. Do a quick video showing the uh, Stack on Elite electric keypad reprogramming. Uh, this is following a replacement of the keypad and all the electronics that go along with it. Uh, we have a default code put in it right now is one, two, three. You can see the green lights come on. That means the code is active. So you can see that it actually unlocked. So um, again, it's just a default code that we had put into it right now. To reprogram it, simply come over here. There's a small pressure switch. You hear it beep and come back to this side you'll see that it's lit up that means we're good to program so now we'll just do the opposite three two one and then you press a pound now it should be programmed so three two one number sign and that's a good combo so it's that easy quick pretty simple to reset so if you need to reset it follow those process just to reset the code or if you had to do any electronic work on it and need to replace the code uh, just make sure that once you've replaced it that it opens and closes before you lock it back up or have your uh, manual keys ready in case you have to open it with the key uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped out thanks for watching sorry for anyone that may have been waiting on that video i know it took a while to get it posted i hope it was a help if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for your time.